Hey, yo, this is another video, so let's go. Uh, I'm going to get right into it. Um, all right, this video is about um, the Travis Scott um, uh, concert, Astro World uh, ritual. Now, um, I've noticed. Um, now, this uh, now, quick sidebar. Uh, I noticed Drake. The, Drake has been involved with a, with a lot of ritual work uh, in the industry. He was there at this concert um, for the Travis Scott Astro World concert. And I remember rec right after that happened, I remember, um, what's his name? Uh, Jay Prince. That's when he uh, did the whole video with Kanye saying him and uh, Kanye West and Drake are going to do a concert in L.A. It was like something, uh, it was a big backlash, so he had to fix it to make it make the people forget that he was actually, actually at that concert. And Travis Scott ended up with all the blame. But he was there too. People forget it. But um, I've lived in that city before, Houston. Uh, so I'm going to go ahead and get started on it. All right. First off, uh, Travis Scott um, himself, he was, as a young child, he was a ball boy for the Houston Rockets. So just like the same thing with um, Common, uh, he was a ball boy for the Chicago Bulls. Okay, correlation. So. And they're also rappers now, so or music musicians or uh, artists. So um, the whole thing um, with the Travis Scott thing in um, in Astral World. Now I I didn't I really didn't when I heard about it. Uh, I was uh, in on the West Coast, like in Los Angeles, when I heard it happen. Uh, so I was like, okay, I, I live there, so let me just. I'm probably going to hear more about it. And it was like more and more people start, you know, dying. But people like saying, oh, it was a, it was a satanic thing or, or a ritual. It was a ritual. Yes. So let me go ahead and explain. I, when the day it happened, I knew exactly my thoughts. These, uh, whenever it happened, was it like, I'm not sure it was like, what, three months ago from, I mean, this is uh, March of 2022. So I'm not sure. It must have been like in like the December time or uh, 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 something around that time, December, when it happened. So what I'm going to uh, I'm going to break these things down. OK, so I'm not sure if a lot of people heard about the uh, the Scottish Rite Freemasonry. Right. OK. I used to work in that in that city, in that area of town uh, or the, they call it the medical district. Right. So uh, of Houston. So the medical district, um, there's like a North Brazewood and South Brazewood, Kirby and Main Street. That's like the, the, the main streets in that area. So well, when I used to work in that area, there was I remember that was a Scottish Rite place uh, of me, for, for Freemasonry. Freemason is like you go along and do your own studies and bring what you do. Uh, they bring it back to a group. I get my studies from my ancestors and they tell me certain things to do. The ancestors, uh, as in my spiritual ancestors, they, uh, through all continents, through all countries, all where all highly melanated people, so-called black people are, that's where all my ancestors are, are from. So let's get that clear. So Scottish free, uh, Scottish right Freemasonry was made by our ancestors in the beginning, just like masonry was made by our ancestors uh, in Egypt or Kemet. And it, they, we spread it out throughout the world. In uh, Scotland, they have it too also. A lot of different places, a lot of different um, cities, towns, states, uh, countries, they have it all around the world. Um, so but I'm going to go ahead and get into what I was going to say. The Scottish Rite Freemasonry. Now, at one point when I was working there in uh, in Houston, Texas, um, they were on North Brazewood, the building. So they, uh, I remember when I was, um, I was talking to somebody, he said, yeah, they always out here uh, marching and playing their bagpipes on Brazewood, North Brazewood, and or South Brazewood, walking back and forth, playing their bagpipes. I remember like weeks passed, and all of a sudden the building just got, they uh they knocked down the building down. They knocked the building down. I was like, oh, that's okay. They why would they do that? But eh, I guess it's none of my business. I really I was I really didn't know too much of anything back then at that time. So I was just starting to learn a few little things, 
you know. So, um, but over time, I realized they had they had they leveled that that Scottish Rite Freemasonry building on North Braidswood and put a um, apartment um, building there. Um, is right behind the um. It's, I think it's oh, it's called it's the now the new um, the new um, apartment complex where the Freemasonry building used to be at is called the Broadstone Apartments on North Braze. Well, you can look it up on your Google Map. I just did it really quick just to make sure I could. I remembered it. I remember it used to be a a, a Freemasonry uh, Scottish Rite building right there, and they built a. Uh, apartment complex on top of it so all the rituals they're doing inside those buildings when they knock the building down those that energy is still there so they built an apartment complex right on top of it so but let, let me keep going so i remember i kept you know you live throughout your life you keep keep living and then i realized i'm saying oh i kept driving i'm like on west belford um right behind papa Cito's and papa Do's is what they have a new uh, um, Scottish Rite Freemasonry building. It's mainly made of glass. So I was thinking like, wait a minute, they moved here. Okay, that, that's where they moved at. So they knocked that building down and moved there, but left put an apartment complex there. I wonder if they uh, have um, the rights to that land and they're paying them behind that land and giving, anyway, I'm gonna get keep going. So the Scottish Rite Freemasonry building is right off of West Belfort. But if you look on your map on West Belfort, uh, is right, is south of 610. But in that empty space uh, where the Astro World Festival was, there used to be an actual Six Flags, Six Flags theme park called Astro World, an actual uh, theme park by uh, Six Flags. And um, the city... Or uh, whatever reason we know, I never knew growing up. Cause we used to always go there in the summertime, uh, the winter time. Uh, when uh, 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 when it was, they used to have um, what was it Halloween? Uh, Halloween festival there. And they used to have the the um, the Christmas festival for um, as uh, Astro World Six Flags. So we used to go there when they wouldn't open all the, every day on during the summertime. We used to go there. So. So all of a sudden, they just end up tearing the theme park down. Nobody really knows why. But I remember, like, uh, when I was still living there, I remember, um, what's his name? Uh, Travis Scott, he was always uh, talking about or screaming, screaming about Astral World. Astral World, bring Astral World back. He wanted to bring Astral World back. Because remember, like, as as a youth or kids, or, uh, we, used to, we used to always be up there, like, trying to get at girls riding the the uh, the, uh, the rides they had there or whatever it was you got your uh your season pass you got you got to be there like every day if you wanted to at, on that with that season pass so you know people that know that live in Houston you know what I'm talking about with that season pass <laughs> so get on that get on the bus or your your parents drop you off and you be there all day so um let's keep it going so when they knocked down Astro World or that old um, Six Flags theme park, nobody knew why. But when he had the festival, I'm like, I heard about the festival was coming, him having a festival. Astro was like, oh, so maybe if he couldn't get the theme park built, he was going to build one himself. But I remember before uh, before time when I was living in Atlanta, he was uh, for the halftime show. He did the halftime show for the Super Bowl in Atlanta. He had the same uh, mask with the long hair with the white face uh, across the street from the Super Bowl, from the Super Bowl arena. Um, what was it? It's called Mercedes Benz Arena in Atlanta, Georgia. That's where he did the halftime show for the Super Bowl. I'm like people thinking like he he really did do enough to be in the be, be halftime for the Super Bowl. But I was doing something down there. In, it, uh, in Atlanta while I was uh, living there, you know, I did my own ritual thing out there. And so I'm like looking like, oh, so we got two people that, was, that lived in Texas or, you know, from the area of Texas. 
in the same spot. So I'm looking like, oh, okay, that's that's wild. You know what I'm saying? So so in in my retrospect, in my mind, I'm looking like Pimp C really did get to come back to uh to Atlanta, he said, and I'm coming back to Atlanta. He said, I'm coming back. He said, I love it though. Cause he, you know what I'm saying? It's I'm a, it's another story about what Ed, Pimp C was talking about about Atlanta. I'm gonna speak on it uh, very soon. Um, but I'm back to the story. So, so the uh, the whole the whole set or theme set he had outside for um, at the Super Bowl while he was on a halftime show. Um, that was the same set. I, I when I seen the pictures of it of the uh, Astro World. That was the same set at the gate. So uh, when I seen every of uh, the news, how everybody had it on TV, how everybody had it on TV or on uh, on YouTube or whatever, they was. Um, the thing was, when they had it on, on there, they had the, um, it wasn't facing 610, that freeway there. It was actually facing um, facing south of the freeway. So the people that's driving by on the freeway, they can't see anything that's going on at the show or the festival. So this is the first night the festival is on. Okay. So, um, so this is when everything is happening and, uh, ambulance or EMS is inside the crowd picking up people or whatever not what not so if that's the case now I'll, if you look at the map that um that that um that um Scottish Wright Freemasonry building is only like a mile away or half a mile away from that uh that open field it's an open field now you have some people just parking their uh their RVs or parking houses uh, RV houses, um, you know, so you have them parked out in that grass, I remember. So the thing is, um, all that time, this was a, it was a, it was a long time setup. So like, you got to think, well, he didn't do enough to even be um, the marquee act for the Super Bowl, but that propelled him to have what he wanted, they wanted him to do on that uh, that land, because on that land, your neighbor is the Scottish Rite Freemasonry. Nobody knows if they go out in the field and do rituals out in that field. In that field, they because they used to walk on the street and do their uh play their bagpipes and do the rituals. So they have an open field. That's in in certain um in certain forms of magic. Um, they have you can go by uh, a a a, a, some, a stream of water or a railroad or open field. So they can they know they can go to an open field and do a ritual. So they doing they did uh nine people, I'm not sure if it was more than that. I just started paying attention. After I seen you know, after like a day or so, I just started paying attention to it and just put my attention on something else. So a day or so later, he um a day or so later, um after after all this happened, I stopped watching it. So um when people said uh it was nine people not nine, nine people that died. They said, "Oh, it was this and this happened." Yeah, they can they can formulate that to happen if they can if they wanted to formulate that formulate that to happen. And people they they can set up a ritual to have certain. That's why all those people was acting up or acting crazy before everything started. They broke through the barrier. Usually, uh, the uh, security or whatever a stop or stop everything to get certain people that don't got tickets or wristbands out of the area. But they didn't. They just let him in because remember, like, like I, I say, the the police, the EMS, and the fire department are all entwined in the one. That's why they have uh, the F O F O P, the Fraternal Order of Police. They got them in every city, county, um, throughout different states in the United States that you can find. You won't see them very big, but they have a Fraternal Order of Police, and that's like. And they they do their own things like ritually too also, but we just don't really know about them. All we just see them in their cop cars or the the EMS or the fire department trucks. We don't see them as them being an entity of God. God is is really the opposite of what we think he is. God is really someone or something that's actually trying to stop so called black people, highly melanated people from raising themselves up because remember he said thou shalt have no other god before me if you have a soul you that should, that's your purpose highly melanated people so-called black people your purpose is to raise yourself up i'm gonna give you a clue and a hint to do is 
is to read mythology. When you read mythology, all those things that you're reading will start will start happening around you. So, if like I have videos too saying about talking about uh, black people reading mythology, okay. So, the people people don't people just saying oh they just they they, just, they saying uh I I I want to look real quick to see if anybody had said anything about um uh, the um the Scottish Rite Freemasonry building right across the street from the open field because it's right on West Belford and when you when you stop it's a street on West Belford you can't go any further and that's where that field where the Astral World um the Astral World uh festival the Astral World Festival was held. So if that's the case, nobody's looking at them because they set the ritual up before everything happened. All they got to do is walk around and do a, do a couple of things. Now that energy, as you can hear, the uh, I don't know if you heard that uh, I'm out in the middle of nowhere. You know what I'm saying? So as you can, as the, what I'm saying is um, <laughs> certain energy gets pulled, picked up around certain places when certain things is trying to distract people. So I'm not distracted. So if they're all intertwined. So we have these new Mason groups. They're under the, the will of God, not God as in, oh, somebody we should we should pray to. No, you're not even supposed to pray to God. Highly melanated people, so-called black people, you're not supposed to pray or give energy, no tithes, none of that shit. You're not even supposed to be in that church because that church is actually there to slow your spiritual journey down. And that's the point. They, uh, those Mason, those groups or Masonic groups, they know that. That's why they're looking for for black members. They can pull in. That, it's a city to city. I've been noticing, like a lot of black people have been like um, knowing of other Masons. We, we do have Mason Masonic groups, but those Masonic groups that uh, that is like mainly um, uh, with a lot of black people in them. They don't really get a lot of the information. You'll see. Um, the white, the white Masonic groups have all the information, and uh, they might let a few um, blacks in. They might, they, they will let uh, white women in the uh, Masonic groups uh, before they let a, a whole bunch of black people. But it's been written, and I remember Bobby Hemmett would say uh, they're going to be looking for a lot of new black people uh, that, that have understanding of a lot of things to to pull in or bring in to these Masonic groups. So if they, they want you to come or join, don't do it. It's just like the same thing as church. Don't go. Don't do it. I'm telling you from what I know, because in different cities, I've been noticing that a lot more. Like in Atlanta, I've noticed that like two, three different people um, will always be like, uh, oh, I'm this and that. I'm, I'm this and or, or a whole company be like having different Masonic members in a um in a uh, in a company, so that's what I'm saying. Like, it's not what people think it is. It's like you giving uh you giving your like they say you do the pledge of allegiance. You're giving your legion. Your legion is is ten thousand. If you look at look up legion on Google, legion equals ten thousand. You have one deity. They might have thirty five legions or forty five legions in the the book of Goetia. Go G O E. T I A. Some people say Gotia or Goetia. They the lesser, uh, the lesser of Solomon. You have the greater, and you have the lesser keys, the greater keys of Solomon, and the lesser keys of Solomon. But remember, when you go to the darkness, the darkness has more power because light is always protruding that energy. But the darkness is actually gaining the energy, gaining the energy to always to use the energy. Okay, that's why you have on the Kabbalah, you have the dark side and the light side. That's why Doth or Doth Vader, he says, Luke, I am your father. This is why he had the, the Doth is the highest form of melanin. If that Doth means the highest form of melanin, that means what? Energy. That means he's, he's harnessing energy. He might have taken a lot of lives to get that energy or he might have a lot of information to get that energy. So... The, now that's, this is very, I'm, it's so simple, but it's, it's very true because I wouldn't know that. Answers have showed me this because I actually worked in those those areas or I, and I lived in that part of town of uh, Houston, Texas. So if you if, now you can always go backtrack anything I say. Um, so 
that apartment name I said, I can't really remember right now. I was trying to remember before I started the video. And I'm glad I remembered it. The apartment complex I said is on North Braisewood. That's where that, um, that, um, that's where that, um, uh, that's where that, um, Scottish Rite, uh, Masonic building used to be at. Now, if you look at, you can look up this, look up the Scottish Rite building. Uh, now it's on West Belford. And West Belford is right across, is right in front of the field, right on the, on the, actually is west of the field. Um, uh, if you look at it. So now that's what that was mainly about. And he's like, oh, uh, I, I didn't, I wasn't trying to hurt anybody. I was just, just doing the show. But people don't remember Drake was in that, in, actually in that show. So they hugged each other and kept going with the show. I didn't, I, I seen a, a video of it really quick. I'm like, uh. You know what I'm saying? I'm glad I got to see it because he was after that happened, they they brought up the uh they brought up the Kanye and Drake show for like people to forget. So remember it's like if something happens over here, you cause a distraction on this side so you forget that what happened over there or who was a part of something over there. When you do that, it's called a misdirection. So the misdirection, Drake is a part of that. Drake is a part of the bullshit. Remember, he's trained in the Kabbalah or he's trained in, in magic uh, too also. I am too. So I'm, there's nothing wrong with that. It's all about what you're using it for. And when you use it to um, for God, because God don't want you to raise yourself up. He said um, in, the, in that Bible, he's actually telling you not to raise yourself up. But at the same time, it's telling you to, uh, you're, supposed, you're supposed to be the best version of yourself. He, he's telling the disciples, uh, to uh, be like me or be like Christ because everybody that has a soul has a chance to raise themselves up to be Christ. The Christ is the crystals is the, or the crystal. You're supposed to turn your pine pineal gland into a crystal. That's what this is all about. So if he's, if he's, if Drake is singing monotone, there's no variation in his, in his, in his music or his, in his voice. So he sounds like a what? A robot. Remember when uh, when people were singing in um, what do you call it? Uh, I'm gonna sing. Uh, what do you, uh, people sing that shit um, in um, Kanye sung sung it that way in the on the 808s and heartbreaks. I forgot the name of that thing. Your voice your voice sounds like a it's like a voice box, but it's like that monotone. Uh, you know what I'm talking about? I can't remember the exact name of it, but that's what. Drake sounds like in his regular singing voice. So that's why when people listen to his music, you're not really getting anything out of it spiritually because music is is spirit music is spiritual. It's all about how you what all about the sounds they put into that music. But yeah, so so this is what that ritual was all about. They was uh they was gaining um, access to a lot of people that died and those people that died they they grabbed that energy and was able to use that, use those people um to harness those people that had died i'm not sure it was more than nine i remember the last time i heard was nine so but nine is a powerful number the nine ether um they had a, some they have something called the akashic records so that's it's in the ethers it's like remember um Tesla, he was Tesla. He was able to pull certain uh, things off the uh, off the Akashic records and bring it down into this third dimension. So it's available for for highly melanated people. And another sidebar: um, highly melanated um, sisters or so-called black women, they're extremely extremely psychic. Uh, if you're able, if male highly uh, highly melanated males or so-called black males, if you're able to learn uh tantric sex uh and you um you're able you're actually able to um recycle that energy together instead of you just uh coming or uh nutting if you nut or come then she has all the energy now then you, that's why when you nut there's blood inside that uh that come because it comes from your brain it's brain fluid and it goes down your spine through your penis inside and then if she has a child that actual energy or that blood that's inside that that cum or uh, that sperm is actually inside her now. So now if it's inside her, that energy is that child, unless y'all decide to keep or not to keep a child. 
So and if you're able to use um, tantric sex, um, sisters or highly melanated women or uh, so-called black women, to have your man learn about uh, tantric sex. I have a uh, tantric sex. I have a video um, speaking on uh, um, uh, learning about black people learning about tantric sex too. Also, so that's what this video is about. I want I'm um, 25, 25 as my art. I just looked down, so I'm glad I got this. I'm getting this video done. Uh, the day it happened, I knew when I when it was in that field, I knew what it was about. I said, I wonder if anybody even know what even happened, cause that that uh that Scottish Rite building used to be on North Brazewood, and now is right is is neighbors with that field. So, hey. If, hey, if you don't know, now you know. Because I, I knew the day it happened, I knew exactly what it was. And I just said, you know what, I was just studying something, some other stuff. I'm like, I know what's going on, but I'll just leave it alone. Because somebody probably going to know what's going on. Or you probably just drop, put the video out on YouTube. I looked at it. I, I looked on YouTube just now before I still did this video. I don't. I just see people who are always satanic, satanic this. But remember, Lucifer had to fall from heaven into a physical body. Just like we have a physical body. Heaven is the mind. Hell is the stomach. Remember that. So you're supposed to go with your heart. Your heart is the uh, the balance. So if that's the case, we're, we're all Luciferians, uh, highly melanated people. All people. Because remember, white people or uh, Mexicans or Chinese uh, that's not of dark descent or have a lot of melanin, uh, they don't have... They can't, they don't really have full access. They don't have access to the pineal gland. So that's why they flammably combust. A good example of what I'm talking about is the movie uh, Venom. There will be Carnage. The Carnage movie, when uh, Venom tried, when he, um, when Ed, uh, when Hardy, the actor Hardy, when he decided he didn't want to be with Venom anymore and he kept going to different people. All those, look at those people's bodies. Their body on the inside was burning up on the inside because they couldn't contain. Because remember, venom is what black. It's like a he can, he's from where space. That's carbon. Everybody can't hold it. So all those people he was jumping into, their body was uh, was flammable, combusting on the inside, and it started melting. So if you watch that movie, it might or should be out, maybe out on DVD or Blu-ray. The new one, not the first venom, the second venom that came out by Marvel. Um, and uh, I think it's Marvel and Fox. So check out that movie. When he, when, he, when Venom left those different people that couldn't contain or hold them in the body, look at their bodies and what happened. That's what I'm talking about. So um, so Lucifer um, is, the, is the closest thing to humans or highly melanated people, so-called black people, because we had to fall into a body in order to raise ourselves up because lucifer raises himself up to get back to where he's supposed to be at so why can't why aren't we doing the same things because they have you sidetracked with a lot of illusional things down here and that's the play from god god ain't shit. kill god daily